as news got out about Henry's accident, it didn't take long for Thomas to realise Henry had been disposed of because of what he knew. The next evening, Thomas had been put on his own for the night at Knapford Station. As his driver and fireman left, under what was left of his own steam, he set off for the Sodor Research Complex. He had a small amount of burning fuel in his firebox, but he was mostly moving under his own strength. It took Thomas three hours to get to the complex, the efforts to get there nearly killing him. Thomas arrived at midnight. With no one around, he made his way to the shed where he was created. What he found was the answers to his questions, and many others. Since Sodar research had become producing biofuels vehicles, the world had asked, why had the first biofusion operation worked so well? But nearly every operation since had failed. Sadly, Thomas found the reasons inside. Thomas had never been the first operation. He hadn't even been second. What shed number 17 contained was evidence of several attempts to create a tank engine with Thomas's DNA. These had been early tests made by people with no experience of an experiment on this scale. They were planned and unprepared. These procedures had used DNA from the human Thomas and had been as much the real Thomas as the tank engine in the world had come to know and love. Jules, Thomas the tank engine had been the Thomas we all knew as a boy. Part of the family of the whole island's population had known and respected since Wilhelm first arrived. In actuality, this tank engine was no more the real Thomas than all the failed creations made over the 12 months before. This Thomas had all the human Thomas's memories and experiences. He had learned what Thomas had learned, known who Thomas had known, but so had all the previous failures. trial and error how to bring their Thomas back from the dead. The following experiments did not have the same way of put into it, resulting in the freak engines and aircraft that have developed so many problems on Sodor Island and around the world. In Shed 17, Thomas Gordon discovered he had been lost, but in fact, he was
Victor to work. Thomas always though loses his friends. Sadly, over time we came to think of him as just really useful. <laughs>